we will add more specific keywords and possibly more specific sentences in our captions once we have sorted through the images and found the ones that we want to keep, work on, enhance, and move through different uh, endgame. The first thing that we need to do is to find out which ones we want to keep versus which ones we just really don't care about that much. So there's a couple of ways we can go about doing this. I choose to use the star rating system as my first round of sorting and all that kind of stuff. So I can select an image here and then I can give it a one star rating by clicking this little guy right there. But the easiest thing is just to hit the number one key on your keyboard. And I'm just going to come in here and hit the number one. What I'm doing is I'm giving the images that I feel deserve a second, third or fourth look a one star. And I'm going to be choosing some that are vertical, some that are horizontal. All right, so there's my one stars. Now, what I can do is I can start using the library filter up here to filter through the various star ratings or color labels or a combination of those and all that fun stuff. So what I can do is I can come in here and go under filters off and I can choose rated. This will show me just the images that I've given a one star rating to. Now the next thing I need to do is I need to move through these and find the ones that really catch my eye. And what I would like to do is give those a two star rating. And then possibly I would have some that meet a three star criteria, which is probably printing. So the first round of one stars could be looked at as, yeah, these are good for my overall photo excursion, if you will. And then the two stars could be something like, I'm going to share these ones on social media. And then the three stars would be for printing as an example. Now, that being said, I can probably use all of the one stars in a slideshow or a book that I want to create. And we'll deal with that a little bit later on. But first, what I want to do is just go through and give some other ones a two star. So let's look through this. I'm going to say, okay, that one deserves a two star, two star, two star, two star, two star, two star, and two star. So now I've got some one stars and I've got some two stars. Now what I'd like to do is take a look at just the two stars. So now I need to come over here where we see the row of options for us to view the rated, if you will. So I can come in here and the rating right now is set to greater than or equal to one star. Well, if I set that to the two star thing, there we go. There's our two stars. Now from these two stars, what I would like to do is find a couple that are worthy of pressing print for. So I'm going to come over here and click on this one and that's a three star. I'm going to come over here and press that one as a three star. Maybe I want that one as a three star as well. Let's do that one just for the sake of it. So now if I come over here and I can click on that and now I can see just my three stars. I can also come in here and set it to the rating is equal to three stars or the rating is equal to two stars or the rating is equal to one star. So you see how this is going? So this is really easy for us to be able to see all of this stuff. If I decided to give my selected, rated, whatever you want to call it, a color. I could do that as well. And then I can use that as a, a one level deeper of uh, sorting, rating, dividing out my images, whatever it is that you want to call this stuff. Notice that once I have some star ratings going on here, next thing you know, I'm not at the none anymore, but I'm over here on the attribute. If I'd use the flagging, picking, and whatever it is that you want to call it as a method of sorting my images and dumping them, I could choose these guys to filter through if I wanted to. So anyways, we've got all this kind of stuff going on. There's many other things that we can do, but anyways, I'm just going to leave it at rated. I'm going to go over here to filters off, and now I get to see all of my images, the ones with the star ratings, the ones without. If I come in here and choose unrated, then these are the ones that I didn't choose at all. Kind of interesting that we got that option there as well. So I'm just going to go back to the filters off, 
scenario here. I do want to just talk a little bit about these guys up here. If I click on the text option, then I can see that the next row down shows us text, any searchable field, oh, file name, copy name. So these are our places that we can actually search for our images and contains all, can, doesn't contain, contains words of, contains la 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 la, starts with, ends with. We've got all this search parameter stuff that we can deal with. The next one is attributes and the attributes would be a star rating or a color label or something along those lines. Metadata. This is very, very interesting. We can actually sort our images based on certain criteria, such as the date or whether they've been flagged, rated, and a rating, and a camera, and all that kind of stuff. It's just crazy. Here's the camera one right here. Here's the lenses. And right now, I was using a 24 to 85, 2.8 to f4 zoom lens. Funny, I'd actually forgotten I owned that lens. But it was a great carry around lens and uh, all that kind of fun stuff. It's 24 to 85. Anyways, we've got that or we can come over here and click none. All right, that is everything that I wanted to talk about as far as sorting through your images. And the next thing I want to deal with is something over here and it's called collections. See you in the next video.